Hey, this is Max at 343 Labs. We're a music production school based in New York City, Berlin, and online. And today, I'd like to show you a clip by one of our instructors, John Selway, which is taken from 343 TV, which airs right here on our channel several days per week. Now, if you want to watch the full stream, head over to studio.343labs.com, the link in the description, which is our new producer hub where you can meet other producers, get free content, collaborate, and get feedback on your music. Enjoy the clip. It's kind of like, and this is another thing we talked about in class, it's sort of like remixing yourself. Like you make a track, you finish it, and then you walk away from it, and then pretend it's someone else's track, and I'm going to remix this track, and then it sort of frees you up to do something different with it. Um, so that's sort of the idea, is like now I'm going to take the elements of this and try to start shaping it into something different. And already just the vibe of this loop that I'm not using in the, in the first version is going to be like what to base. Now I need to make everything fit with this. And even just like losing the vocal sample would probably make a big difference already. And if I keep all the drums as is and not change it a lot, I would call this like a, a version, a remix, I would, or a, like another dub version or something like that. Speaking of dub, probably like taking this and putting lots of delay on it and having it be a little deeper sounding would probably work. I'm just muting the little short shakers. Actually, where's that 909 stuff? Like there's so much energy in those fast 909 hi-hats. Maybe I take those out and leave the, the short shakers. And keep it more minimal, the lower energy. Probably I'm not going to do those single chord steps by themselves like that. I might rethink how this whole chord step, the big chord step is processed and make it darker the whole time, more continuous. Leave that hi hat in there. What else can we do to change the vibe of this? This one has some heavier drums in it. Miss the ride symbols, to be honest. This part is good. There needs to be more like this. Cause it's like fluff that when the when the the more mellow, not more, it's not mellow anymore. Like that other chord layer that's just kind of floating up there. When it gets bright, it's really nice. All 
All right, let's back this up. There's a lot of bass in that. this for a second i want to have this be moving and floating a little bit more like i have just this low pass filter and it gets brighter over time but what if we do some modulation yeah dub it out That's dark. Playing with delays a little bit. I wanted it to be more present and not, I wanted to, you know, getting that dubby kind of floatiness. It's too loud now. I'm gonna have to figure out how to balance this in the mix. Sounds good when it's d dark, but now it's too loud. Maybe just turn it down. Yeah, it's clipping. I have it going into a saturator, which is too much. I might just lose that. Um, I was thinking about, I liked, uh, there's some parts where the closed hi-hat are uh, eighth notes. It's, it's, so the, the energy's there, but l tempered, like it's not quite as busy. What if, what if we do that? All right, just, I might turn them down a little bit too. Another thing, I, you know, I, I, I can keep the energy, but make it a little darker and warmer by bringing the level of some of the high frequency stuff down. Could even just ditch if I ditch that polymetric loop, it's so noisy. It's sort of missing it a little energy now. Maybe I can think about how to mix it or process it so to keep the the, the musical variation of that polymetric rhythm, but without it overtaking everything. It, again, it might just be turning it down. Definitely have to play with how the the heavier chord is being modulated. Adding too much delay to it makes it really dreamy. Still need to go in and fix some of these hi-hats. I 
I should just copy and paste rather than going through all these uh, clips and muting stuff, but no rush. I can listen to it while I do this. What if we even use fewer rides? I'm not sure. I feel like now that I've made all these changes, the, some parts of the arrangement don't work as well. So I have to go back and figure out what I need to change, what, what I need to do to make it work better. What's up, James Freer? DJ Emo has a good comment. Filter down the perks as it comes up. Yeah, to make, that will make some space in the break, right? That could work. This, not sure about that drop right there. It needs to change. Maybe the, maybe that's not where to put the ride anymore. All right, I need to reset my brain. But you see how I'm, how this happens, right? Like, I'm. Uh, taking that element that I didn't use and then I'm using it and then I'm trying to change everything else to fit with that one element. And in a way, it's making another version or a remix of the first one. But I've got two tracks for, for a release potentially and they're complementary. And I, I'm, tr I'm trying to think, like, should I work more towards making this a different track entirely and like really radically change it more to change the structure of it? Or and add new elements even? Uh, or should I just keep it them a similar structure and have them be two two alternate versions, like a you know, a deep version and a harder version? All right, just something to think about. Let's listen to this again from the beginning, right? I'm I'm trying to kind of reset my mind and think about I'm gonna listen for what needs to change in this. You know, whether we get to all of it before the end of the show remains to be seen. But let's just have a listen. Here's a quick thing I can do. I have the, the bass of the kick drum filtered out in the beginning. I'm not going to do that in this version. I'm just going to have it start with the bass. And then what else can I take away? Rolling the rumbly kick makes is a lot of energy. That's another thing I need to think about. Maybe I need something entirely different for the bass. That's really going to start making it another track. Keeping this in there is leaning it towards being a remix because it's the same feel. I don't know. I kind of like it. Might just keep it. I could try changing the sound, changing the shape of it. EQing it differently. Right, it has this it has this erosion on it that's adding this kind of crunch to it. But if I take it off, it sounds darker and then cleaner. Maybe we'll do that. Part seems like it's too dark, right? Needs more here. All right, I know that I have to work on this section from like 33 to 65. Either make it maybe shorter or bring the elements up sooner. Because this part's great. <laughs> All right, Simple Sam. Change the beat or throw in a break beat? Really? 
That would do a lot, though. It would change, make a totally different vibe. I like it here. Could add another musical element to this. Could add another synth. Could be a, a lead melody on top to brighten it up. There's so many different directions it could go. All of the good stuff is here, right? This is where the action is, in the middle. I like it again when the filter gets higher and thinner on the up, on the on the smoother chords. Here maybe the filter's too low. And that can stay longer. All right, I'm having some ideas. I'm not going to fix all of this today, right? We're almost at the end of the show. But the, the whole point has been listening through it and thinking about what to do next. And I'm coming to some conclusions. Let me just jump back to the beginning again. I'm going to let that come in later. I'm definitely going to bring the filter up on the rave generator stab. <laughs> it's so not ravey sounding right now. Could already start moving the filter on that guy. Yeah, definitely interesting with the dubby chords. Louder, brighter. I like the fading in of the polyrhythmic thing, polymetric thing. It sounds better when it's thinner. So that's, I think what I'm gonna do for this guy is not have it have too much low end. We'll keep it thin. That's helping a lot. All right, and then, okay. This has to get brighter here. Yeah, that's taking up so much of the energy. And I think this should stay up. Is that the right? That's the wrong, the wrong one, this one. Big difference in energy with this is brighter. Right, that needs to be brighter in there. Actually, I'm going to go back a little bit. All right, we're almost we're almost out of time. It's 159. This is going to be it. Let's just hear this last transition and then we'll call it a day. I'm happy with that. And this, from here on, is the part where it's working. Man, I'm into it now. I don't even want to stop. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to watch the full stream, head over to studio.343labs.com, link in the description below. And that is our new producer hub where you can find 
free content, collaborate with other musicians, get feedback on your music, and just meet a community of like-minded artists and producers. See you next time.